Hello game trollers and welcome to a new video and welcome to my WWE 2K18 Universe Mode Backlash Preview, Backlash, our first pay-per-view here on Universe Mode, of course it's a Smackdown pay-per-view and we got some pretty decent matches on a pre pretty decent card so uh, yeah let me just give you the rundown on the show right here. Alright, our first match for Backlash, and of course it will be on the pre-show, and it is the Cruiserweight Championship match. It will be Cedric Alexander challenging the king of the Cruiserweights himself, Neville, for that Cruiserweight Championship, for that Cruiserweight crown. Uh, Cedric Alexander defeating Kota Ibushi on the first episode of 205 Live, getting the opportunity to face Neville, and of course Neville getting a bit of a warm-up match against Grand Malik on the second episode of 205 Live in what was a pretty decent match as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this match. Will we see a new Cruiserweight Champion already? Or uh, will the reign of the King continue? But our first match on the main show of Backlash will be a big match. I believe this main evented WrestleMania or something at some point. I'm, I, I, I can't remember. It is Kurt Angle taking on Eddie Guerrero. Leading up to this match, on the second episode of SmackDown, we had a match to determine who would face Kurt Angle at Backlash, and of course this match will have a Money in the Bank spot on the line uh, for of course next month's Money in the Bank ladder match for the SmackDown side, and uh, it was a pretty good back and forth match as you will see throughout these highlights here. But then at the end of it all, it ended up being Eddie Guerrero who hit the frog splash on Bobby Roode, getting the victory and going to face Kurt at Backlash. And as I said, Money in the Bank ladder match spot on the line between these two. I'm sure it'll be a great, great, great match. Probably match of the night. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this match. Kurt Angle making his debut here on Universe Mode. And it can't be any bigger than this. Kurt Angle versus Eddie Guerrero. Right then, next up here for Backlash, and it is another big match. It is a six-man tag between the New Day and the Mistourage. So this all started a couple weeks ago after the New Day started teasing the Misfits backstage about how the Miz lost that fatal four-way number one contenders match and it kind of it, it made Maurice and the Misfits a bit angry and so they came out to, 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 to deal some damage to, to get some revenge on the New Day and it was just it was it was a beating it, it was just a beating to the New Day trying to show them, trying to send a message to the New Day, trying to shut them up. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty bad for the New Day. It was looking pretty bad for him. And uh, the Misfits managed to get a big win over the New Day, which is impressive on its own. And uh, yeah, that, that, 
That was that was pretty bad. But then, the next week, the very next week, The Miz made his return to SmackDown. And uh, New Day, they just wouldn't shut up. They wouldn't stop with the teasing, talking about how The Miz's cronies are more successful than him at the moment. Of course, that uh, got under The Miz's skin. And uh, he asked for a match against Xavier Woods and uh, got that match. But uh, sadly for The Miz, it didn't go as planned for the A-lister and uh, well he he lost the match pretty uh, in a pretty disappointing loss an unsatisfying loss but a pretty good win for the new day getting a, a big big uh, big 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 uh, boost and a big uh, big bit of revenge against the Mistourage And so now we have this six-man tag. Can the Miz get his uh, revenge? Can he finally shut up the New Day about that fatal four-way? Or will uh, the New Day get some revenge over the Misfits and uh, prove their point to the Miz that he really doesn't belong anymore and that uh, he'll just consistently lose every single match that he's in? But uh, yeah, uh, and probably get their big boost in momentum, probably get a championship match in the future for the New Day. Then we have the women's championship match, the SmackDown women's championship match, and it is Alexa Bliss challenging Lita for the SmackDown women's championship. Let's see what went down on the build up to this match. It was Ember Moon versus Alexa Bliss. And not surprisingly, it was a pretty solid match, I must say pretty entertaining, back and forth contest. Uh, but at the end of it, it took Alexa Bliss not just one, but two DDTs to defeat Ember Moon. It was really good, I must say, I'm really impressed with that match. Alexa even reversing the Eclipse, which is just an amazing feat in itself. And uh, that got her the opportunity to face, El to face Lita at Backlash for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And then on our last episode of SmackDown, it was Natalya taking on Lita and uh, Alexa Bliss actually accompanying Natalya down to the ring and uh, did, made her attentions very clear to distract and to get into the head of the SmackDown Women's Champion. And uh, Natalya did exactly what Alexa wanted, doing the damage to Lita before their match at Backlash, hitting her with a chair and beating her, stopping her from getting any momentum before their match. And uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty bad for Lita, leading into Backlash. But were those mind games and was that loss enough to bring down Lita before her match against Alexa Bliss? Will she lose the SmackDown Women's Championship already to Alexa? Um, or can she beat Alexa? Can she beat Little Miss Bliss and retain that SmackDown Women's Championship? Next up here, we'll be talking about our SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and of course, the Revival will challenge the Outsiders, of course, on the build-up to Backlash, on the first 
episode of SmackDown on the uh, unfeatured matches. We saw DIY take on the Revival in what was a classic match, a, a callback to their wars back in NXT. And uh, oh my goodness, it was a great match. And at the end of it all, it was Dash Wilder managing to connect with the single man Shatter Machine on Tommaso Ciampa getting the victory for his team and getting the opportunity to face the Outsiders at Backlash. And then on the second week of SmackDown, we saw a second tag team matchup. And of course, it was between the tag team champions, the Outsiders. They got a little warm-up match against Bree Zango. And I must say, it was fairly difficult. A fairly difficult win for the Outsiders, but they managed it. And it was Scott Hall getting the win over Fandango with the Outsider's Edge getting a big boost in momentum. And then on the last episode of SmackDown before their big match at Backlash, we saw a one-on-one -on -one match and of course it was the winners of each individual tag team matches with Dash Wilder taking on Scott Hall. It was a pretty competitive, fantastic matchup and it took not just one but two outsiders edges after uh, of course Scott Dawson distracting the referee on the first one and uh, that gave him a big boost in momentum, another big boost in momentum heading into their tag team matchup and uh, yeah, real real big for the outsiders there and so it all leads up to this can the revival the underdogs really get the win over the outsiders can they get those tag team championships will the legendary tag team of Kevin Nash and Scott Hall retain the tag team championships and uh, I don't know progress into further into the year as the tag team champions and then ladies and gentlemen it is 
the United States Championship match. It will be the champion himself, John Cena, defending the title for the second time against Chris Jericho, Y2J Chris Jericho. On the build-up to Backlash, John Cena, on the first episode of SmackDown, defended the United States Championship in an open challenge, open to anybody on the SmackDown roster. And, of course, it was answered by Aiden English, of all people. And, of course, John Cena valiantly <laughs> defeated Aiden English, uh, for lack of a better word. And then on the second week, we saw a number one contender's triple threat match to see who would face Cena at Backlash. And of course, it was contested between Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Chris Jericho. And of course, we all know what went down. It was a pretty short match, and at the end of it all, Chris Jericho hit the walls of Jericho on Sami Zayn, and Sami had no choice but to tap out. And that gave Jericho the opportunity to face Cena at Backlash for that United States Championship. Can he do it? Can he defeat Cena and become the U new United States Champion? Or will Cena retain and continue his reign as the United States Champion? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, the WWE Championship match. Let's see what went down throughout the build-up to this match. It was the first night here on SmackDown, a fatal for a number one contenders match between Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and The Miz. What a match it was, such an impactful, great match. Seth Rollins even injured his back during this match. It was that that gruesome and hellacious and at the end of it all it was Samoa Joe getting the victory in that match with a sneaky well some say a sneaky little sunset flip powerbomb on Finn Balor and that got him the number one contender spot and the chance to face The Rock at Backlash But then, ladies and gentlemen, it took a turn as on the last episode of SmackDown before Backlash, The Rock made his first appearance, and of course Samoa Joe took advantage of that and absolutely blindsiding The Rock b before he could even make it to the ring, attacking him with a chair. And Rock, he tried fighting back throughout, but then you know what? Samoa Joe was too much. The surprise advantage on The Rock was too much. And Samoa Joe managed to get the advantage and get a quick beat down on the people's champ before Backlash. And so ladies and gentlemen, the WWE Championship on the line. The Destroyer Samoa Joe versus the people's champion, the WWE Champion, The Rock making his first defense here on Universe Mode. Can, can he beat Samoa Joe or will the Destroyer be too much, prove too much for the Brahma Bull? We'll find out in the main event of Backlash, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it, that's all guys. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little preview video. Took a, 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 a wicked long time to edit, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was pretty fun to do. Anyways, I'm really excited for Backlash, and uh, I don't know when it will be coming out, but when it comes out, it comes out, alright? So, uh, yeah. I'll see you then. Troll on, baby!